This is a wetland area at Southwoods. Since we've lived here, and probably for decades before, it's been choked with narrow-leaf cattail. Well, there's a broadleaf cattail and the narrow-leaf cattail, but the narrow-leaf cattail comes in and basically pushes out the native broadleaf cattail. So the whole thing is that now, right? Looks nice, very aesthetically pleasing in your basic wetland cattail forest. The problem is, is that it pushes out all the other plants. There's no room for anything else. For 10 years as we've lived on this property, it's all been cattails. Last winter we came out with scythes and cut down all the cattails in this area, down below the water line, to try to give an opportunity for other plants to get a chance to grow. And wouldn't you know it, just within one season, look what's come up. These plants have never been here before. This is arrowroot. They're flowering, they're leafing out, they have all this sunlight in here just because a few of the cattails that were here were taken out and an opportunity came for them to exist. The scientific and ecological term for this is competitive exclusion. The narrow leaf cattails moved in and excluded out through competition all the native plants that were here. In the same way, we can do that on our properties. If we have, say, Canadian thistle or some kind of invasive plant, we can use another plant to compete with it, like Sudan grass or sorghum with the Canadian thistle. And we can force that other plant out by competing with it taking up all the other resources and not allowing it to spread. It can work for us, but it also could work against us. We just need to know what were the native plants that were here and how can we create that environment again? How can we create increased carrying capacity to have more diversity? When we do that, we have more plants and we have more resources.